Hey y'all, it's me, Marae, and I am back with another video. And this time, it is of a DIY project that I have really been looking forward to because if you saw my last video, then you saw that our mattress and our box springs were on the floor. So I thought it would be really cool to bring you all along this journey with me um, because I learned a lot of do's and don'ts on refurbishing uh, furniture. I have upcycled some other pieces, but this is by far the largest piece that I have done. And shout out to Taylor because I would not have been able to do this without him. So keep watching and feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also follow me on YouTube and Instagram, Inspired by Shay. And let me know what you think. So before I continue, I am using a Black & Decker electric sander and um, it was amazing. I love this sander and I highly recommend that if you are not using it or if you are changing sanding pads, unplug it because it is very dangerous to maneuver with it. Um, with it still plugged in. Um, also, I recommend wearing a mask of some sort just so that you don't inhale all of that wood dust. Um, I have asthma, so it was very important for me to do that. But uh, I think that should just be a general thing that everyone does. going through and sanding everything um and definitely wear clothes i that you can get dirty because i have wood dust everywhere So this is day two and Taylor surprised me because I thought that I would be doing this part by myself, but he actually came out and helped me sand the rest of the furniture or the, the sides and the footboard. And it made everything go by twice as fast. Um, the girls kept trying to escape from the living room, but we managed to get it done. And so I just took an extremely wrung out damp cloth and just wiped everywhere because there was still a bunch of wood dust everywhere. So um, I did my best to try to get rid of that so that it did not mess up the paint job. Here is where it got interesting and I <laughs> I have not given any pointers on to what grit sandpaper I used because it didn't matter. Um, I'm actually using Valspar's cabinet and furniture paint. So little did I know you do not have to sand or prime the piece that you're doing before applying the paint. And I realized that after. So it literally says it on the front of the can. So as I keep going, you'll see that these big square areas on the headboard actually look a little bit different. The pieces that I did not sand actually turned out way way better so if you are going to use cabinet and furniture paint do not sand your piece um, because it will turn out so much better if you don't sand it beforehand so now you can see a better 
picture of what I was talking about. It literally looks as if the paint, the wood is absorbing the paint. So it didn't just like rest on top. It kind of soaked it in a little bit. Um, it didn't look too bad after drying. Um, my phone actually died shortly after this. So I did not get to finish recording me painting the rest of the pieces but i did two coats of paint and i mean it turned out pretty well because this is how it looks in our room after we brought it upstairs and put it together i am highly pleased um and next time i know not to sand it beforehand so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you again soon bye